Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal giving you my review of the Moschino Fall and Winter 2018 collection. So 2018 is already starting to have runways and also fashion collection. And with Moschino, I would not be surprised if they were outlandish, eccentric, out there, all types of gender bender type designs if you know what i mean and this collection is no different so that is a disclaimer but there are some unique pieces that i like in this collection to be fair because fashion is basically anything if you are the artist or you are the designer it is your own design so you should not care about what people think but at the same time i do question why these pieces are in the collection and so let's start with the review of the Moschino Fallen Winter 2018 collection so we are on slide one so this slide is a variety of design a variety of mixtures picture two we got skirt and also a double breasted vest picture one is basically a double breasted jacket with knee-high boots all of them are knee-high boots and the it's the, picture four it's actually quite futuristic so that's not bad i do like the jacket it looks like a tarpaulin jacket or it could be could be leather jacket patent leather jacket and i'm not feeling the middle picture is just a long coat um, I don't, that's all it is and then you got the futuristic hype beast in picture five and so this slide is basically a mixture ending with the hype beast or streetwear type look so we are on slide two uh, picture number one is quite interesting picture uh, number two has a bit of formal mixture to it i'm not sure what was going on and picture three military style right there i'm kind of feeling that jacket right there and then Picture five, this is quite interesting. This is, I, I don't really know how to call picture five. I mean, I do like the ensemble. I'm not sure about the straps here. Now, I'm not saying that the strap is suspect, but it's a quite an interesting. That's all it is, it's interesting. Because I when I saw this, I could not explain it i could not pinpoint a word to it and so we're on pick a uh, slide three very jacket heavy right here we got a dark camel or dark brown double breasted jacket same with picture number two but if you check picture number two it actually have a um, oh man i forgot what they call them um they I know they're straps, but any case, I forgot what you call them, but it's an off-shoulder double-breasted jacket without the shoulder piece, so that is quite an interesting take on the double-breasted jacket. I do like that strong lapel right there. And we got a picture number three. That's a, that's a nice uh, piece right there, ensemble. Again, picture number four. Looks like he's going on a business, but he used an airplane and drop off of an airplane use a parachute to get to work that's how i see it as and picture number five quite casual that's not bad you don't know what's going on underneath that but it's a very jacket heavy slide and we're on picture i mean slide number four this is an interesting slide all i have to say is different all I have to say is a very gender bender type slide right here. It this is Jeremy Scott, as you know. If you don't know Moschino, Jeremy Scott is a is the designer boss Moschino. So I'm just gonna basically describe this whole slide in in just basically all at the same. How do I describe this slide right here? Each piece of the garment are different each piece the whole ensemble per model is definitely 
gender bender type i'm not really sure what the message is trying here if there was one piece i would maybe wear would be picture number two but everything else they are different but is it a ready to wear definitely not and i'm wondering is it is this really fall and winter 2018 seems more of a spring and then we get to slide number five picture one again you got that off shoulder uh, jacket right there that's not bad that's not bad and then you got a different take on a, a cocktail type wear right here got a very short button up shirt right there with the leather gloves and then you got these I should I say this pins with jacket again that's interesting and then you, well basically you know what I'm gonna tell it like this picture number three four I mean and five are look like they're bondages that's what they are yes they are different but they are bondages and here is something that I can actually see because see as ready to wear such as slide number one slide number uh, I mean picture number one and then picture number two they're both something ready to wear now there is a tail on picture number two baby pants or maybe that could be a parachute or maybe a gown and then you got picture number three that's not bad I actually like that and then picture number four you got a double breasted jacket with a coat I mean with a tail so again that's not bad and then you have a jacket that looks like it's a dress a jacket dress maybe again it's not bad I do like this yes even though it is unique but I do like this it's certainly something that you don't normally see from other designers and it just so happens that Jeremy Scott is just one of these design designers that can create design and for some reason to me it still works and this slide proves that and then last slide is slide number seven so we got a asymmetrical jacket right here on slide number one that's interesting and then you got so uh basically a branded ensemble that's not bad and as you can tell there's a common occurrences here they all wear knee-high boots and they are all wearing caps or maybe a mask and then same thing with slide number three and then you got the policeman here with a off shoulder button up shirt right here black and white style that's not bad bondages certainly and then you have picture number five it does seem gay that's for sure this is you know this is one of those things if i go to west hollywood for halloween this is something i would see this is for sure something i would see but at the same time it works or if you have the body to pull it off it does work so let's conclude for a bit am i surprised seeing these no is this jeremy scott's doing yes now do i think this is a fall and winter style i'd say no i i'm not it's like going on the spring i don't see the heavy jackets i don't see anything that would tell me okay you know what this is for fall winter you're getting ready for the cold i don't see that maybe it's a resort i don't know but what do i really think this collection i think this collection is 50 50 i don't like it there's some pieces that i do like but at the same time it's not something that tells me you know what moschino is improving every year or they're creating something new because in this collection they are not and so that basically is my review of the Moschino fall and winter 2018 collection this is mr informal i will see you in the next collection review bye bye